So far, it's been going very well, but largely because expectations were so low coming into earnings season. Analysts began the year thinking maybe a 3% growth first quarter and better as the year progressed. They ended up thinking maybe it's more like down 4%, and that's where we are right now. So the numbers really came in just easier to beat. What about the headline on revenues? Are they declining as well? No, headlines on revenues are actually up, and that's the other big issue we've talked about with clients. It's been margin compression that has really put the spook into the earnings season. It's been more worries about what's going on below the top line, and that's what's pulled the numbers down. Higher costs? Exactly, higher costs. Labor costs, the dollar obviously year over year is up 4 to 5 percent, so that's been a pressure on more international companies, but mainly labor and materials. I guess always key as well is, is what people are guiding for, for later in the year. What, what have we heard uh, so far? I mean, the banks obviously have kicked things off. Yeah, the banks have been kind of mixed. JP Morgan, probably the best example of a real upside positive kind of message. But the way I think about this earnings season, it's not Q1 earnings season. It's telling me about the back half season. So we're looking for confidence from managements that even if first quarter is kind of sloppy, which it obviously will be, but the back half of the year is 3 to 5% growth, which is what the analysts are looking for now. Which sector is best positioned or cheapest heading into earnings? You know, financials are perennially cheap, but very tough to play that group so late in the cycle. Healthcare, you mentioned, hasn't performed, but we don't like that group much either. Technology is honestly the place where you have to look, both because of its importance to the market and because you have a wide disparity of expectations between, say, an Apple and an Amazon. Uh, well, and, and on that point, Apple, you think, is, is set up well to beat earnings? It is, because the numbers have come down all the way through the quarter. People are looking for down 14% earnings growth for the company, down 6% revenues. That seems like a low enough bar to beat. On the flip side, Amazon, analysts have been raising numbers, looking for 44% earnings growth year over year. And that's the kind of disparity you get in tech. Do you think there's been an overreaction to the global growth slowdown? I mean, China concerns really dominated at the end of last year. That's when the numbers started coming down. Yeah. Or have we just not seen some of the big industrials report yet? Yeah. Analysts cut numbers for two reasons through this quarter. The first was Q4 was just so bad. The market was bad. Results slowed down. Growth went from 25% to 10% year over year. And then you got the worries over the slowdown, not just in China, but in Europe as well, a uh, major trading partner. So it's been a confluence of those events that have driven down GDP expectations, earnings expectations. That's where we are today. How's